What we're going to look at now is how we display our objects in AutoCAD 2010, how we view them, and also how we can sort of move around the interface a little bit as well. Now you'll notice that the picture in front of us is on a white background, we're in model space, and we've got several colours here that we're using to sort of differentiate between various different objects. And these colours are defined as part of our layer system. So if I just come to this drop down here, you'll see from our quick layer view, what we've got is a whole list of objects, or a whole list of layers rather, and each one of them has got a different colour. So what this colour system is helping us to do is it's helping us to differentiate what objects are on what layers. And obviously those objects have got various different roles to play. So it's a very useful way and a very quick way of sort of differentiating very visually what's what on your drawing. There is, however, one slight drawback with the way that we have things set up at the moment. And that is that model space here has a white background. And when I come to my layout one, so does our paper space as well. Now, when I've used this program before, I found it very, very useful to be able to distinguish very quickly and very easily, and again, in a very visual way, the difference between my layout view and also my model view. And what we've had traditionally in AutoCAD is that the model view would be a black background. And in actual fact, that's something that I would say is very, very worth doing, very much worth doing rather, now. So if I want to change this black background and change the way that I'm displaying the objects, what I'm first going to do is go to my menu browser, the large A up in the top left hand corner. And then from this, right down at the bottom, there's an option here, which is, well, it's a button rather, called Options. So I'll click on that, and that will bring up my options dialog box and I will be able to go to my display tab just here and I'll be able to change the colors and that's in the middle on the left hand side here and those colors I could go in and change each one individually if I wanted to but really what I want to do is go to my white color here and just change that to black and that will change you see we've got a preview here we'll change everything to the black color scheme I can apply and close and then click OK and now what I have is my model view is set to black and my paper space is set to white. So a piece of paper, as you would expect it, which is white, looks white. And my model space, which is a sort of an infinite space to work in, is actually displayed as being black. So it's a very quick, very simple visual cue in order to help us. Now, as far as moving around the interface is concerned, there are a couple of different ways that I can do that. First and foremost is going to be the use of our mouse and in specifically the wheel mouse that you've got. The three button mice with the wheel are, are very, very useful in what we do because if I click and hold that wheel, you'll find there's a little hand appears and I can pan from side to side my drawing. That's almost like sliding it backwards and forwards. And I can also use the wheel mouse to wheel backwards to zoom out and to wheel forwards to zoom in. So if I want to, I can wheel my mouse in, and this is going in in specific increments, and I can come right the way into a, a piece of detail here, and I can work just with that one piece of detail. And then when I want to, I can zoom right back out again. Now, zooming in and out in increments is all very well, but what happens if we want to be a little bit more sort of precise about what we're doing? Well, in a blank piece of space or a blank part of my drawing, I can use the right click menu and if I do that down here where we can see it a little bit better I do have options to pan and zoom by hand so I could just click my or left click on my zoom and you can see here the icons changed again and I can just left click and I can zoom in around the mouse point and you'll notice that I'm moving in a much more smoother manner and I'm also moving around or zooming in rather where the mouse is so as I move on the right hand side, we move more into here. So I go to the left hand side, we move more into there. And if I need to, I can use my middle mouse to pan. Now, if I need to get out of this zoom tool, I can right click. And you'll see here, we've not only got an option to exit out of that zoom, but say I've finished with this and I actually want to zoom out. What I really want to do is to zoom out to the whole and see the whole drawing. Say, for example, I thought, oh, what I'll do is I'll exit my zoom and then I'll, I'll wheel mouse out. Well, in actual fact, you don't have to do that because what I can do is I can go zoom extents. 
And you can see there that zooms me out to the extent of the drawing. But what it doesn't do is it doesn't exit me from my zoom tool. So I can either get out of that by pressing the escape key or, as I just mentioned, by right clicking and bringing up that, me that menu and exiting. So we've got a couple of very simple, very easy ways here of working that if, say that I am actually right within this option and I wish to sort of come out and do my zoom extents, if I do this down here, I've got an option to right click and say zoom and then right click again and just go zoom extents. Now what some of you may find as well is that under your utilities option here on your home pad, you've actually got a few more options in the utilities. Because of my screen resolution, I've obviously got things a little bit more squashed up than I would normally have. And what you'll probably find when you're working at a higher resolution than this is that you will actually have options in there to zoom and to zoom extents and that they will also be part of your drop downs. So again, if I just escape that, you'll find I come back to my normal cursor and I'm able to now start navigating my environment and displaying objects within that environment as easily as I would do in any other program.